Hey, it's Tom Dalton from the Emmy Award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar, Michigan. You want to have some fun? Well, watch this, then come to Michigan, then do this. You know, all my life, I've wondered what it'd be like to sail on one of those giant sailing schooners from the 1800s. Well, little did I know that right here in Traverse City is the tall ship Manitou. It's a 114-foot double-masted ship that offers sailing adventures from two hours up to four days. Finally, a chance for me to get my sea legs. Our captain, Dave McGinnis, a man who knew these waters, knew his ship, and probably knew right away that I knew absolutely nothing about sailing. Well, first of all, is this a three-hour tour? <laughs> well, it's a three and a half hour tour. Okay, we're safe. <laughs> I just want to check. How come the steering wheel's on back? How come the steering wheel's That's, facing that way? It's a really good question. Huh, gee, thanks, Captain Dave. It's actually very traditional. Uh, the way our wheel is set up is exactly the way it would have been on a 19th century schooner. If you reversed this whole thing, yeah. the wheel would be way back here, and as you can see, that would be kind of awkward. So they always set it up this way, plus it's a convenient seat. Oh, so you can actually sit here while you're steering the boat? You can, depending on the captain you're working for. Right. Right, this looks a little casual. I wouldn't... It looks a little casual. <laughs> I actually I have to admit, I actually went sailing once. I rented a catamaran and I sailed it right into the swim area. Yeah, they wanted the boat back right away. Yeah. Yeah, they they, they wanted their That's boat back. That's frowned upon. Yeah, but this is so. I've never been on a ship like this though. This is incredible. And while this was only a three and a half hour tour, I can only imagine what a unique experience it would be to stay overnight on the Manitou. If you're coming on the boat like for a romantic weekend getaway, the rooms you actually sleep in are in the forward cabin, which is down here. I'm gonna show them to you. Come on, I'll show you. This is actually very cool down here. Always go down backwards. I'm not sure why yet, but it seems safer. Now, it's hard for the camera to really capture this, but this is really pretty roomy. There's about a nine foot ceiling in here. There's a sink out here. There's four staterooms in this area. And we're in the forward part of the boat, which I guess would be the forward aft. Anyway, it's the front part. And this is room number three. It's kind of dark in here for you to see, but there's two berths in here. And actually, these beds are pretty darn comfortable. Oh, there you go. Uh, I could just lay here and just. Oh, oh, I'm needed topside. I'll be back. Well, I can't say I was really given the normal pampered guest treatment by Captain Dave because, well, it wasn't long before he had me hoisting the main and trimming the jib, whatever that means. This, how, how heavy? Harder, pull harder! I'm, I am! Come on. Oh, hold it there. Two steps forward! Drop the line! Good job! Most of you. Now, the day we sailed, and I use the word we loosely, a class of middle schoolers were also on board as part of an educational program they do here in the spring. The kids had a blast and learned a ton about sailing, the lake, the fish, and the environment. And we got to learn about Traverse City from a salty, but friendly sailor's perspective. I came from a, a town that was probably about the same size as Traverse City, maybe a little bigger, but it was a college town. And so I was used to great restaurants everywhere and then really interesting cultural activities going on. And when I got to Traverse City, it was a little bit of culture shock back then because, you know, you could count the number of really good restaurants on, you know, half of a hand. Right. And... That would just totally change now. It has really evolved over the years. The downtown has just flourished. Uh, there's so many great restaurants and shops and there's always activities going on here, summer and winter. That's the thing. This town, you know, it, it's a tourist town at its heart, but it, it they don't roll up the streets in the wintertime. I mean, there's so much vibrancy and there's such a sense of community here. And between the film festival and the cherry festival and having Interlock and Arts Academy, which has some of the most talented people in the world as students there. Um, you know, it is just, one of the places to be in Michigan, it really is. I love it here. I wouldn't, I, I'm an East Coast boy, born and raised, and I never thought I would end up in the Midwest and I wouldn't leave Traverse City. I love it. Now, tell me about the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Who stole the strawberries? <sighs> it didn't take you long to go off the deep end once you got on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost it a long time ago. <laughs> hey, haul away, oh, haul away, Joe. We had a great afternoon sailing Grand Traverse Bay on the Manitou. 
It was just another one of those experiences that reminded me why we're so lucky here in Michigan. 